Hand application of cable pulling lubricants is preferred when installing cable into horizontal duct systems, when pulling without the use of a feeder tube, or when working in a vault or handhole situation. Hand application can ensure that the entire cable is evenly coated with lubricant. A thorough lubricating film is essential to reducing overall pulling tension. Use a thick gel lubricant like Polywater J, Polywater Plus Silicone, or Dyna Blue to get the best results. These lubricants are easy to pick up with your hands and will cling to the cable during horizontal or vertical upruns. Using feeder tubes is one of the best ways to install cables into horizontal duct bank systems. They reduce the amount of damage that could occur on the cable while pulling. Feeding the cable directly into the duct bank with a feeder tube makes it easier to lubricate cables by being above grade and out of the manhole, providing more room to operate. Before pulling, scoop a few handfuls of lubricant into the duct before the head end of the cable to help pre-lubricate the conduit. Front end packs can also be used to pre-lubricate the conduit ahead of the cable too. Lubrication of the cable's head end is critical to reducing friction. The transmission pull shows the importance of pre-lubrication. For this pull, both front end packs and heavy lubrication of the head end of the cable was used to keep the friction to a minimum. Using the right amount of lubricant and spreading it correctly are the keys to reducing overall tension and wear and tear on pulling equipment. Continue to reapply lubricant throughout the pull by smoothing it over the entire cable surface with your hands. Placing the pail near the cable or underneath the cable to catch excess lube is a good practice to follow. Notice the amount of lubricant coating on this transmission cable coming out of the end of the duct bank. Polywater, Jay's patented formula, ensures that the lubricant hangs onto the cable without rubbing off. The dynamometer readings on this cable pulling machine illustrate the importance of good pulling practices by keeping ending tension under the cable manufacturer's recommendations. American Polywater has a software program called the Pull Planner 3000, which can calculate ending tensions and sidewall pressure before the pull helping in the planning. For an alternative to hand application, American Polywater manufactures several pourable cable pulling lubricants, including Polywater PJ, F, PR, PJL, NN, and NB. Pourable lubricants are effective for vertical pulling situations, such as conduit stub-ups and feeder tubes. Pouring lubricant directly onto cable as it enters the mouth of a conduit or feeder tube is a great way to avoid messy hand contact. Pouring allows a free hand to assist in guiding the cables. Plus, it allows workers to wear gloves without ruining them, which is nice for the hands in cold weather conditions. Pour directly onto the cables on the inside edge of the duct, so lubricant immediately gets to where the rub is. Lubricant quantity is important. This formula shows how much lubricant to use during a cable pull. If a pull has multiple bends, high conduit fill, water in the duct, or is in an old conduit system, the calculated amount of lubricant may need to increase by as much as 25%. A general rule of thumb is to use one gallon of cable pulling lubricant for every 100 feet that you're pulling in cable. After the pull has been completed, cleanup is easy if you follow this tip. Get a good clean rag and start four to six feet back from the end of the cable. Tightly squeeze the rag around the cable and squeegee off the lubes as you pull towards the end of the cable. Take the rag and fold it over, exposing the dry part of the towel, and repeat the process. Your cable should now be clean and dry ready for taping and termination.